All right. Um, I don't know if Target is going to show up now. I wrote them another check. Uh, I'm going to write a whole stack of other checks. That way, if Target comes to the door, it's probably... It's 7.40 in the morning right now. If Target comes to the door to make a delivery, um, it'll be within the next hour. If not, it won't be today. And I recommend... Well, you could come up the front way. Honestly, now that the sun is up, nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to, like, run, jump out of the house and grab you. There it is. Scissors. Can't do much without scissors. Oh, here's like a cummerbund here.
actually, my mother trained me to be able to survive eating at the level of food stamps. Which most people would find terribly embarrassing, but embarrassing has nothing to do with it because we're about to enter a time of war. And truth be told, if you know how to do it correctly, you can have normal human body function and a normal life if you purchase $250 or $200 worth of food every month, which is food stamps. My mother did it for the training. We need to invest in the law firms because this is primarily an intellectual property law. Um, it's extremely important that we get these lawyers shopping at Walmart. Mr. Bruce Goldner, I want you to go to the local Walmart and shop pen and gear because they have been doing a substantial amount of research and development they've been doing a substantial amount of research and development on papers not just any papers not just any papers but um, papers that would allow you to avoid being read by satellite it mitigates your risk um, here, like this. This is pen and gear. This you buy at Walmart. This was developed with a significant amount of investment. And I want to go get more of them, because they are like five different shapes, sizes, five different sizes. Can't really see inside here. So if you buy these and read them in a room that's got a plybu roof, you got some protection. Which is important if you are army jag and you're doing research and you're making handwritten notes and writing handwritten papers and you're doing research on the internet, but all they can see is what's on the internet. I'm trying to figure out how to make sure the practice of law can continue as a learned profession and in that regard I have been in the breach so the investments that I've made at Walmart are intended to continue with like pen and gear me five star they're doing the same thing uh, target has a supplier I'm trying not to expose their names so much, but Five Below has a bunch of you. Of course. Teenagers. Teenagers don't like people reading their journals. These are a little bit small, but I can write these with that. Does this look like the small works file? Yes, it does. Okay, so how many checks have I cut here? Well, papers have I prepared for checks? Have I cut here? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten checks here. Ten soon to be checks. Ten papers. And I can hear the attempt to try to create value on a piece of paper that has no value, and that makes no sense. I'm using the word check because, as you've noticed, these are not a regular size, and lettering is not really my strong suit. So, um, I mean, I've done okay with the lettering, but if I'm saying pay to the order of, how wide of a point of a pen do I have to use? And I'm figuring it would have to be like that, so. Otherwise, I would be using that.
How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nine, twenty. Yep, twenty. I'm going to split this up and make two of them in the day because. I'm gonna get something else to draw other than my cup. I'll, I'll get a different cup. Get a different mug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, no. We're gonna keep drawing the same thing. Same thing. No changes. No changes. Oh, let's make it quick. Professor Wollensack trained me to be able to make a hundred. Pick a thing and paint it or draw it a hundred times. So I should continue with what I'm looking at right here. Let me get you out of the way. <laughs> so the whole stack I'm gonna move this. It looks like people are becoming more confident that I'm not going to keel over and die soon. Uh, I guess that's a good thing. Thank you. Okay, so here are my little watercolors. Uh, my crayons, my watercolor. Pencil. No, not that. Well, I could still keel over and die at any time, and I try to avoid these things, but I don't know if I can. I have just heard a bunch of extremely horny men say how wonderful it would be to give me a bear. And you know what? Uh, no thank you. I think that's just because you finally figured out I'm only 5 feet 2 inches tall. And that makes you feel, oh, so big and strong. But that wasn't really part of your mental calculus a year ago or two years ago. Which works very well for me. I mean, you've had all the choices in the world, and you chose to do exactly what you wanted. For which I shall not fault you. Okay. Kindly do not insult my niece, who gave you what you said you wanted.
the title app. Miley Cyrus is trying her best to put her fingers on it, and I'm not seeing how that's compelling because it's a skinny white girl who's not from New York, who knows nothing about hip-hop, who has been stealing... I know, they did that with... with um, that happened with Elvis, but she's less convincing than Elvis.
Would you please be so kind as to stop trying to egg on Royal Dalton? I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Uh huh. No, it's a movie reference. That's how people in Baltimore are.
there's some way I could get like a kick wheel here. Like a little kick wheel. But the problem really is the kiln. Thirty minutes. Work surface. We're going to hire some ride or die liquors, right? I'm sure.
Let me guess, everything's an emergency, right? I'm sorry, why exactly am I hearing an English person saying that my mother has to be punished for making a competent child such as me? I'm not even kidding. I heard that come from the mouth of an English person just now. And that is why the English royal family does not allow you to drive quickly so that you look like you are delivering a package when you are. Uh, don't worry, I saw you in 2013, actually. Usually when they begin a sentence with I was only, it really means I'm sorry you heard me, I didn't mean to get caught. Erica taught them that. Now you're going to make musicians pay.
Okay. It's 45 minutes. So it's like 15 minutes to paint all of these. Mm -hmm. And they need a minute to glaze and dry. More or less. Did I miss any? Not really. If you cannot get this girl to change her course, don't come back. So there's a person in the ceiling who is being like indirectly threatened by somebody from the United Kingdom to make me change my course. In other words, get knocked up, get married after being really insulted. Uh, or, you know, just kind of quit, get bored, spend my time getting high all day. Anything to make me stop doing what I like to do, which is painting. You're through. If you can't make her stop, you're three. Through. Two, four. Six. Eight. Ten. Yeah, that's Crayola. This needs to dry a little bit and then I'll glaze some of it. But that came from here. So let me pause this and let it dry. My name is Michelle Russell Ward of Russell Ward Studio. I think I may have already recorded this, but if not, let me move these so you can try to get everything in one place. Here's the security camera. These are the checks that I've been writing because we are about to enter a time of war. This check I wrote to Target on top of this check. This is for the account that I have opened. This is for the account that I have opened. And this is investment money from Target. The investment money The investment money is because we are about to enter a time of war, which means there are going to be shortages. These are acts of terrorism that are being very blatantly performed in order to try to stop me from making paintings and drawings, prevent me from being able to get access to food, light, housing, shelter, water, and to punish me on a daily basis. Someone has turned off the pilot lights on the shower because they didn't want me to take off my clothes and show off my naked body as a means of avoiding being enslaved, because literally that's how these Africans think, when actually I haven't had a bath in a day. I haven't had a shower in a day. So now that they have allowed me to have hot water, it's not hot water, it's carefully calculated to be the temperature of urine. So, I'm supposed to be urinated on after screaming and begging to be able to get my shipments of art supplies that I paid for from the Target Corporation. And all of this is terrorism that's blatantly concealed as, oh, I'm just messing with you. For which I was lynched and dragged 200 miles and it looks to me like when you want to serve me with a peace order, you can get my fucking name right. But you want to pay me, when it comes to paying me and bringing me my property, oh no, we can't get your name right. When I cater to make sure that the people who are fighting to protect my life have food to eat, you can't get my name right. My name is Suzanne Veladon when it comes to me feeding the people who keep us alive. But when it comes to slapping me in the face with a court order that has no merit, my name is Michelle Russell Ward. So, you're going to have to resolve when I receive my shipments from the Target Corporation, the recovery, if any, of stolen artwork, stolen art supplies, because these have not yet been turned into checks, but will be. And I believe someone attempted to print 
checks off of watercolors that I have not yet turned into checks, which means it's going to be kiting fraud because you didn't care enough to get my name right or deliver to me my property. So now the attempt to gaslight me and change reality that makes, again, no sense is to say, I am not identifiable on my checks. I don't understand how I'm not identifiable on my checks. I showed up. I showed up looking like myself in the pictures as I shipped my order to the Brooklyn Museum. I've made two checks to Target. I was served with a peace order. I have no reason to believe this attempt to gaslight me into thinking that after the police officer who has delivered this peace office, this peace order, came here, that my target shipment was delivered to Elizabeth Poteet. There's no basis in fact for that. Innuendo is not fact. Where are we? George Cole could find me. So I don't understand what the problem is. Um, this is the target's investment. Mm, and this is the target payment. So perhaps it's much more likely the case that um, right now DeAndre is going through the store with a shopping cart saying, you know what, with as much money as she's got, if we're trying to cover purchases with the assistance of Jeff Bezos, maybe I should get as much as I can off the floor like a personal shopper and then deliver it. Because we are about to enter a time of war. And I'm making sure that the local retailers have what they need, as much of what they need as possible. So, again, before I start signing more checks, these are the two checks for Target. As you can see, there's a signature. Okay, so... Pause. Just got back. Now I need to record all the checks, because the checks had to go and dry in the sun, and I had to think my th way through what I was going to pay, and why I was going to pay it, and how I was going to pay it. So I owe money on my Prime account. Everybody here has been trying to gaslight me into making me think I'm poor, I have no access to money, blah blah blah. That's not true. That's not true. Uh, so. I have been writing checks based on the value of the paintings that I've been making. And in order to keep them in order, um, I've got this, well, this obviously belongs to, used to belong to Liz until I bought the house. Um, this will do for now. It'll do for now. So, these... It turns out... The apparent reason for my failure to get deliveries does involve people being murdered, but they're also paying people to not show up. They have literally been, like, there was a lady over there who just said, okay, I'll pay you a hundred million dollars to not deliver. But that doesn't make any sense. That check, or that painting is worth way more than a hundred million dollars. So you're going to get an investment of way over $100 million, and you're going to get a call from Skadden and from the bankers and the art lawyers, art appraisers, for a conservative estimate of the value of the painting, because that's going to be what is delivered to you. Um, it's true that it's payable on the Skadden client trust account, so it could go one of two ways. Either they immediately pay you because Skadden has those, those funds on deposit to pay, or it'll be like 
presentment of a check. You present a check, and if it's an out-of-state check, it'll take three days. Yeah, whatever. Um, I know that DeAndre's on the stick. He's he's. I don't think that DeAndre at Target is playing these games of, all right, if you give me more money and cross my palm with it, I won't show up or I'll deliver to somebody else. No, because there's a lot more at stake than that. There are gun battles in the street. They're bombing the port. I've got people planning to kill me. Why? Over my paintings. And I'm making paintings with stuff that came from Target. So it's in their interest to be like, okay, we're going to take this real slow. Um, we're going to look at our inventory, look at the stuff that you already put in the cart. If there's anything more that we want to add to that cart, because I gave them two checks. I gave them a check for investment and a check for an account because I haven't been getting my shipments from Amazon. And I need what's there. And if I got to make a workaround, I'll make a workaround. Um, because we have entered a time of war. I intercepted a communication from a person who used to be with Scotland Yard, who is with the English royal family and with Whitehall. And Whitehall is screaming in rage. They are screaming. They are screaming, we want her to stop. We want those checks to bounce. We don't want her to paint any more. Uh, we are going to steal her artwork and we're going to credit it to white people. So, um, this has become a matter of constitutional law, and we are back at 1776 right now. So the fact that people here are being shady and stupid tells me that they are not students of history. They don't understand that Prince William is like the great, 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 great grandson of King George, who came here. We, we That's the one who was in power in England when the United States were 13 colonies and we that whole thing with the Boston Tea Party no taxation without representation uh, the British are coming Paul Revere's ride all of that yeah that was his ancestor and if you really read the Constitution you'll notice that pair of jackasses living in med apartments has broken every single one of those things in the Constitution because those are personal bad habits of that family. It's the same loser jackass family that decided we're gonna make a slave out of you. We're just gonna walk up to you and take your money, call you a sharecropper, make you work for free. Actually, the way an English lord makes his money is he buys a piece of real estate and he has a sharecropper, which is like a step up from being a slave, work on the land and like 90% of what they sell at, when they harvest it is delivered back to the lord of the land. So they've been taking like 90% of my earnings and giving some of it back to the neighbors to make the neighbors try to pin me down in a net so that I can't move and I don't get the value of my own income and I am literally reduced to being a slave or in Harry's words a sharecropper so back in 1776 when they did that the last time they were like look okay we're gonna have to kick you out of this country and that was the Revolutionary War we did it before and here we are again 300 years later same people same shit. We're only a few miles south of where it happened the last time. That would be like Virginia. I, actually, no, it was Virginia. They landed around here. Virginia, I don't think Maryland was identified yet. Uh, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, all of that. Same people. So, um, these people don't know their history, and if they did, they'd realize they're really behaving like traitors to the United States. And skipping over all of that, because we have entered a time of war, and the English, war, the English royal family has declared 60 years of war to keep me here and not able to put my name on my artwork and sell my artwork, I'm like, okay, look. I gotta write a bunch of checks in order to shore up the infrastructure. So, how did we get into this mess in the first place? This is a stack of checks. 
Where does the value for all these checks come from? Every single one of these checks comes from the value of the painting. And I'm sitting outside to do it because the lawyers are watching everything, and they have to, because the lawyers are appraising the paintings as we go. And the appraisal value, or the, the, yeah, the fair market value, conservative fair market value on the date of the painting is how it's going to, is the amount that's going to be paid to the payee on the check. And when all of these are done, these are going to be delivered to the Federal Reserve because the Federal Reserve has a museum. So after the date on each check, these are going to appreciate in value. And the appreciated value of the check that has not previously been spent, that goes to the, to the museum. The Federal Reserve gets that. So we have to make sure this is done right. All right. Um... Nobody's messing with DeAndre, because DeAndre is handling the Russell Ward Studio account for providing art supplies, among other things. I want to make sure that this is right, and I'm going to go through each of these one at a time, and we're going to go through, I have made two checks. All right, March 11th. This is for the account. So DeAndre and whoever it is who's acting like the shopper is going to go through and get me what I need in the knowledge that this is probably going to be the one shot that I get for the next 60 years. Pay to the order of target the value of this painting, right? And I put in the corner, thank you, DeAndre, memo line. Please deliver everything I touched in the Target Owings Mill store on March 10th, 2022. That would be the vinyls, in other words, records, and watercolor paint, Target brand. And I put underneath, and create account. That way, because on the 10th, I went through and I started looking through the record collection and I saw the paint and then I had to leave and then I came back the next day and I was like okay I need to make a shopping cart made a shopping cart filled it, filled it to what I need brought it to the customer service desk and I said okay um, my name is Michelle Russell Ward for Russell Ward Studio I'd like this to be shipped to the studio and they said well that's not really how we do shipping DeAndre said you have to go to the Target website and place an order. And I said, okay, that's great. Uh, I'm going to have the lawyers get in contact with, with Target in order to sort this out. And one of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to be able to ship this, deliver it to the studio through the ordinary course of business, or it'll be a restock. So basically, it's no must, no fuss. I have no need to go back there. So... All the fighting broke out. There were people gaslighting me and saying that individuals in the neighborhood walked up and started insulting me and doubting my identity and saying, this person is Michelle Russell Ward. Give the shopping cart to me. And allegedly, somebody was like, okay, yes, Mr. Tom Cruise, we will give you these speakers. And I'm not willing to believe that. They said it and repeated it, but just because somebody says it, that doesn't make it true. Um, when you have somebody who walks up to you with a check, that they have signed with a very well-known signature just because they don't know your face doesn't mean you don't pay on the check deliver to the address on the check you're never going to be wrong if you do that so this is the one to create an account that way they can back up Amazon uh, this is the investment uh, made this a second one pay to the order of target the value of this painting for investment because Crayons are at a five-year backlog. They've announced a 60-year war, and there's already a five-year backlog on the manufacture and shipment of crayons. You need to invest now in order to dig in with all of your suppliers. So, this is Target. That's upfront, which means there is literally nothing more that I can do in my hands right now with that much money and life and death and history on the line, it's up to customer service 
to either ignore the check or deliver. One or the other. All right, so here's the rest of the stack. And remember, there are three more inside. Two to Google and one more to Amazon. Amazon has a stack of money because the way they structured their communication system when you get an internet service provider or just a cell phone with Wi-Fi will do it, um, you can reorder food from their account, prime delivery, without having to worry about going to the market which means you are not exposed to the things that can shoot there was like gunfire in the street there were three different gun battles last night do you think I want to go shopping over at like giant if I can avoid it if I can avoid it no um Wegmans I will go over there to get my party sushi packet absolutely however that's like one item that's really important and really expensive so we're gonna do this a bit at a time pay to the order of Wegmans the value of this painting investment create an account sushi because the sushiya put here by Shinzo Abe is working on their payroll so now they can afford to get the good fish and I'm gonna be able to walk there and show ID and walk out Larry Withers pay to the order of on their video the value of this painting for investment. Pay to the order of Walmart the value of this painting. Oh, I missed one. Um, account and investment. Walmart is the biggest stack of ride or die Jewish people that I have seen in a very long time. So if you have trouble getting things past a security checkpoint, you might want to ask them. Do I think it's going to get as bad as security checkpoints? Not so much, but I don't know. I have never lived through a war. Mm. And this planning is not just for me. It's for... It's for the manufacturers to be able to keep going, which means you could say it's a community investment. But to the extent that it's a community investment, the question is, do you have the money to go and buy what's on the shelves? Making it an investment means I'm making sure they've got stuff on the shelves to sell. Um... So, Walmart is going to get like 12 visits from me. It'll be like a visit once a month, every month. So, the bulk of my needs are going to be filled right here. Mm. Alright, Marshall's TJX. Yes, I'm wearing petty pants. Alright. Pay to the order of Pearl River Market the value of this painting for investment investment and create an account. This is Chinatown, New York City, which means I would be covered for tea and calligraphy supplies from China. And it's not going to be backed up just with Amazon. Pay to the order of TJX, meaning Marshall's TJ Maxx Home Goods, the value of this painting. Investment, create an account with a $5,000 limit. Um, pay to the order of Giant Supermarket, the value of this painting, investment, create an account. I'm going to give myself a $5,000 limit here also, because I don't see myself spending $5,000 on food, but... $5,000 limit. That's mostly for their accounting purposes. That way they don't think I'm going to spend, like, millions on food, and you won't have a bunch of people saying... I want free stuff, I'll just hit her up. All right, pay to the order of the of United Parcel Service the value of this painting, investment dollars, because they are, I, I received direct information that they are gonna start shooting at the people who drive 
the delivery delivery vans, delivery trucks. So they're going to have to invest in armor plating and gasoline. Um, paid to the order of Jerry Zadorama, the value of this painting. Uh, attention, Heather Goldstein. Three reorders. Heather knows me. Heather already knows the score. Seriously, she knows me personally. Paid to the order of Google, the value of this painting. Please deliver one Google Pixel. I'll take an aloe. I don't care. With Google Fi service, two year prepaid from Michelle Russell Ward at gmail.com. Deliver 9901 Bonaven Lane. The rest is obviously going to be investment. And that's probably going to be delivered by land because that would be like the Google Fi SIM card. Um, that's like the backup phone. It's better to have more than one. Um, this will take a week to arrive by truck. So, Google Pixel, Google Allo, I don't care. Uh huh, here we are. Paid to the order of New York Times the value of this painting for investment. The entire New York Times bullpen was murdered. They need new reporters. Well, it wasn't all of them. Like, a lot of reporters were murdered, and they were deleting stuff in the tip line regarding the paintings I made. Paid to the order of Amazon the value of this painting. In other words, this is for investment for the reporting services. Um, pay for Amazon Prime one year. Uh, memo, David Nakamura and Bullpen to, ex to expand Washington Post reporting and investment in blue media. We need to make sure that the reporters are able to do their jobs because we need facts. Pay to the order of Verizon the value of this painting. Please provide the following services. Uh, my jetpack, basically. With 150 gigabytes per month service, two year prepaid for me with my phone number. Ship new Mor Orbic mobile hotspot to put through the SIM card delivered to 9901 Bonhaven Lane. Okay. I think that there's the one that they stole from me in the house two houses over has been deactivated because they know it's not me. Pay to the order of the United States Post Office the value of this painting for investment purposes. The United States Post Office, yes, they have ball, pay, ball players who are stealing from them and they need more people. They need more money for the Joe Biden U.S. Postal Service heavy division. In other words, um, high value items to be shipped through the U.S. Post Office. I need to be able to just take a chunky book and put it in the mail, and they'll give it to a gunship flown by a marine to get it to its destination. This is to finance that. The Minutemen are back, and they're flying gunships. That's really where we are. Pay to the order of Kanban Supermarket the value of this painting, investment, and create an account. Chinatown, New York City. I didn't get my mooncakes. Pay to the order of five below the value of this painting. Investment and create an account. $500 limit. I didn't get my jawbreakers. Pay to the order of Utrecht Dick Blit. Art supplies the value of this painting. Account for 526203 and investment. That way I get my art supplies from home anywhere in the world I happen to be. Pay to the order of Joanne Fabric the value of this painting for investment. Pay to the order of Google value of this painting. Remove all other users from my face. Secure Google Pay. Permanently remove all cables and investment. That's another thing. There's no reason for me to be crying about money. If I say for each museum to pay me $5,000, that should be like, oh, let me just reach in my wallet, get my credit card, make a Google Pay deposit into her Google Pay account of $5,000. And that's only going to work if you pull all those cables out. So, pay me by Google Cable and I'll be able to immediately go spend, which is why there's certain things I'm not doing. Um, pay to the order of DHL shipping the value of this painting, client trust account, blah, 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 investment purposes. Uh, they're going to need to armor plate and they're going to need to hire more shippers and pay more on gasoline because the price of gasoline is going up. Pay to the order of FedEx, the value of this painting, for investment. Same thing. Uh, armor plate the vehicles, hire more drivers, gasoline. 
Pay to the order of Adorama the value of this painting. Investment and create an account. Same thing. Electronics, camera, sound equipment. Pay to the order of Michael's Crafts the value of this painting. Investment, create an account. In case they don't give me my $5,000 per museum Google Pay. Um, pay to the order of Facebook the value of this painting. All right. Verified identity, Michelle Russell. Whoa, whoa. Yikes. Armored Beetle. Not even joking. Armored Beetle. That's a very good sign. Do you have wings? Hello, Mr. Armored Beetle. You look like you were just born. Okay. Into the grass with you, Mr. Armored Beetle. Okay. Verified identity, Michelle Russell Ward at gmail.com. Financing, telecommunications infrastructure, and aerospace support and development, especially facial recognition, mapping software, and tagging of names. There's no reason to ever call me Suzanne Veladon. There is no excuse. Fix it. Verizon. Pay to the order of Verizon the value of this painting. Verified identity, Michelle Russell Ward at gmail.com. Payment of past debts and Verizon mobile hotspot. Phone number, yeah, 150 gigabytes, two years prepaid. Obviously, I didn't get it the last time. Uh, and here's the endorsement line. This was from March 2nd. I think somebody told them not to ship. I don't know. Pay to the order of Amazon the value of this painting. Payment for Amazon order number three, urgent, March 6, 2022. Order delivered by photo. Deposit $5,000 into T-Mobile account on file and payroll. Verified identity. Michelle Russell Ward at gmail.com. De deliver to Michelle Russell Ward, Russell Ward Studio, 9901 Bonhaven Lane, 21117. And none of that has happened. I do not know why. But that covers all of the checks. And because these are negotiable instruments, I'm going to give it three days for each check to clear. And I ex expect to start seeing packages showing up behind the house, behind the studio. Okay. Should be the size of it. And I'm betting the neighbors here were like, that's mine, I made that. No, you didn't. No, you did not. I did. <laughs>